Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wet Shaving with Angelo. I'm Angelo, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And for today's shave, I'm going to be using some things that I've been testing out lately. First thing I'm going to be shaving with, I've been testing out the Simpson Trafalgar T3 Shave Brush. The, the, the Trafalgar line of shave brushes by Simpson. This is their what they call their budget line of synthetic shave brushes. The T3 I, I bought off of West Coast Shaving for $26 with free shipping because it was a new item. And I must have, I've used this brush a number of times and I'm loving it more and more every time. I actually, I'm actually, it seems like I like this brush better than my more expensive Simpson shave brushes, like the Chubby 2 Synthetic in, in particular. Like this has a lot of backbone to it. But it's soft to the touch and it builds up a tremendous amount of lather. So that's the brush I'm going to be using. The shave soap and aftershave I'm going to be using is Mirasol Formula K. Mirasol is a brand of shave products that, that's based in Barcelona, Spain. I bought this soap and the soap, Formula K, and as well the matching aftershave I bought from Razor Emporium. Where I got, because I bundled the two together, I got 10% off the price of the soap and splash. Plus, I paired it up with the discount they had on a certain, on the time, like a 15%. So, I had like 10% off the soap and splash. Then another discount off when I, when they were doing a promo sale for it. I'll, I'll put Razor Emporium's website on the comment below or in the description of the episode to, for you to look at. Because Mirasol products are really good products. Just they're after, everyone loves their. A lot of people love their aftershaves for their post shave feel. I love this soap, particularly of their soaps, the, the Formula K. It's a, it's a really potent menthol scented, mentholated soap. If you're into menthol shave soaps and aftershaves, I would recommend looking into the Mirasol Formula K soap and splash. And it just hits you with menthol. It's not as po it's not as mentholy as as say, I wouldn't say it's as potent as cryogen by. Ch I wouldn't say it's as potent as cryogen by chiseled face, but the but the chill factor where you feel the coldness on your skin after the shave it lingers for quite a while. So it is potent. So that's the soap and splash I'm gonna be using. Razor of choice. The Mercure 37C. This is the modern version of the Mercure Slant Razor. And with the Mercure Slant Razor, it's been around since I believe 1915 was when they first introduced it. And they, the design has pretty much remained the same pretty much throughout the history, from what I can understand. Blade of choice, since I'm using a Slant Razor and I want to make sure it's a good judgment, my go-to blade, Boss God. So let's wet the face, build up the lather, and get to shaving. How's everyone doing out there today? Having good shaves? Let, let us know in the comments. But yeah, I'm, I'm really loving my T3 Trafalgar Shave Brush by Simpson because I've been using it more and more often lately since I got it. And like I said earlier, I'm preferring this over my more expensive Simpson Shave Brushes like the Duke 3 Synthetic. And especially comparing it, it compares very favorably to the Duke 2, no, my bad. It compares very favorably against the Chubby 2 Synthetic I also own. And I, and I find with the Mirasol Shave Soups, you, you want to have a good amount of water on your brush. If, you, if you're learning from the puck or from the tub, you want to have a good amount of water on your brush. Just my personal experience to get that creamy lather because it, it's a very slick soap. Once you, once you get the right amount of water to the product ratio, it's a slick, creamy lather. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm already feel I'm just starting to feel the menthol menthol in this soup, and and the formula K is like a like I said it's a very strong mentholated soap and aftershave. If you're a menth head like some of us, what she was are in the summertime or any time of the year, this would be a good product for you to invest in.
And the T3, the size of the knot is 26 millimeters. And that, and actually on West Coast Shaving, the T3 model is sold out, but they still, I think they still have the T1 model and maybe the T2 model. But you can also find this brush on Maggard Razors, as well as other American vendors. The, well, the only two American vendors I know that are selling this brush are West Coast Shaving and Maggard Razors at the moment. There's probably others as well, I'm not sure, aware of, but these are the ones I know for certain. And your best price, best price I've seen so far is West Coast Shaving. Hold on. Try it off the hands. Now we're going to shave with the Mercur 37C Slant Razor. And they always say, when you shave with a slant razor, don't shave just like you would shave a normal shave safety razor, but use a lot less pressure. I would say use a lot less pressure. And, and I don't know if you heard that, but it is mowing through my stubble like a son of a gun. This is, a, this is really an efficient shaver right here. And actually, I'm waiting on an order. From West Coast Shaving, where I ordered the fine Santal Absolute Shave Soap and After Shave set, along with the Parker Semi Slant. So I'm going to compare it later on in the future. I'll test out the Parker Semi Slant Razor to see how it shaves compared to this. For those wondering about my vintage blade experiment and how it's going, because some of you may know I'm doing a vintage blade experiment. So far, I've tested three to four blades I'm testing out on the Wilkinson Sword Super Sword Edge Blade. I got ten shaves comfortably out of that. Out of Schick Plus Platinum, I got five. And out of the Gillette Spoiler, I got eight. Still haven't tested out the Persona 74s, that will be soon in the future. The Gillette Spoilers and the books and Sword Blades I really enjoyed using, but the Schick Plus Platinums were a little rough on me. Even on the first few shaves, it felt rough. But that could have just been my experience. It could have been the way they were stored from the seller, whatever. But the Schick Plus Platinum were a little rough for me. That was the first pass. Time for the second pass. We were lather up for cross the green.
Yes. Now, if you're a if you're a newbie wet shaver, or a beginner wet shaver, I would not recommend a slant razor as your first razor, because a slant razor is far more aggressive than a standard straight bar razor is. Way more aggressive, I find at least. Like I would, I would, I would recommend you start with this, with a straight bar, a solid guard razor that's not slanted, for and stick with that for a few months till you get your technique and. Till you get down to the proper technique, find what blade works best for you, and learn about and know how what proper sorry, and learn proper blade pressure and pressure and angle. All the, once you get those techniques down pat, then I would recommend you invest in a slant slant razor, like the thirty seven C or one of the many other slants out there. Because as Douglas might say on his channel, I'd rather be shaving. Every, Jokingly speaking, everyone in, in wet shape, like everyone and their mother is done or has made their take on uh, on a um, slant razor in the or in the razor making world. Like everyone and their mother has basically made a slant razor. Let's add a little water to this brush, get a little moisture going on, make it extra slick. But I'm really loving my. I have I have for two other Mirasol shave soaps. One is the blue soap or blue scented soap, and the other. At the moment, I can't remember what the other one is, but I do love my Mirasol products because they're just really great performers. Soap and aftershave wise, and the aftershave does have a great post feel to it, post shave feel to it. Time to go second pass across the green. And the Merker 37C I received as a Christmas gift from my mother a couple years ago. Haven't used it very often, but it is a nice razor. Just get, and it seems like I'm getting good shape right now. Knock on wood. <laughs> This is this the Mercury the thirty seven C so far is way more enjoyable than I than my shave with the Lux slant razor was. Way more enjoyable. Like the vintage Lux slant razor just didn't work out for me, I don't think. But That could have been because the Lutz has two different levels of aggression on the head of the razor. One so-called mild, one so-called aggressive. A one, yeah, one mild, one aggressive side on the razor head. And it just did the Lutz is, if you saw my video on the Lutz, you'll know it didn't work out for me.
That was the second pass. We're going to lather up again for the third and final pass against the green. Yeah, the Trafalgar T3 from Simpson, it's a great brush, especially if you're curious about the Simpson line of shape. It holds its own against, it's like I said earlier, it holds its own, if not, it's a little bit better, I think, than the more expensive Simpson synthetic brushes out there. So if you're curious about wanting, a, if you're wanting a Simpson shape brush, but you don't want to drop a whole ton of money on one, check out the Trafalgar line of brushes. There's the T1, which... Is the smallest size, which I think is about 23 or 24 millimeter knot. And the larger size is this one, the T3, which is a 26 millimeter knot. It's it had this brush has the same excellent build quality as its more expensive Simpson brushes like this like the Chubby 2 synthetic and the Duke 3 synthetic. I don't know. I'm, I'm just loving this brush a whole lot. This is just a very enjoyable brush to use. And it's whole and it's not shedding any it's not shedding like some people have reported about the Simpson brushes. Like some people have heard horror stories about Simpson shade brushes shedding the bristles, this one is not shedding at all. And it's handmade like their other brushes. It's just a very good brush. And especially the price you pay for it, for a Simpson brush. You get a bang for, you get a lot of bang for your buck. They dry the hands off so we don't drop the razor and go to the third pass against the grain. Just so far, an excellent shave, I think, with this razor. As far as my slant razor experience goes, compared to comparing this to the Lutz, the mirror, the from the correction, the Mercury Thirty Seven C is way better than the Lutz Vintage Lutz Slant Razors. Just my personal opinion.
Okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this stippling pencil because I see I have one, maybe two little baby cuts or nicks I have. Best to stop them now before they become a problem. Just like one or two little tiny baby nicks. I don't know. It was a good shave. Okay, I'm going to rinse off the face and apply the aftershave. Time for the aftershave, Mirasol Formula K. Matching aftershave. Oh, and even the aftershave is even colder than or has more menthol in it than the soap does, it seems. And I know I'm going to be feeling this for a while. The chill factor that is. Which is always good for... Which is always good. Which is always a good fact feature in an aftershave to have a little bit of chill in it. Especially for these warmer months coming up. Well, that's today's shave, everyone. Have a good day and have a good shave. Goodbye, everyone.